Okay, so here we have Blood Waves. Uh, this is being played on the PS4. Um, this is a, uh, a wave shooter. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a third-person shooter that you play this, uh, this, this female character that uh, has to defend herself against hordes of zombies. Wave after wave of zombies. Uh, you have um, you have guns at your disposal. You have uh, um, you have destructible traps, um, turrets, and other weapons. Um, so yeah, start out with a gun and a knife. <laughs> um, this is a very bloody game. <laughs> the name kind of explains that a bit. Um, but uh, this is by um, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a very bloody game, as you can see, um, very gory, but so, so satisfying <laughs> to, to play. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you walk around this environment, uh, you have to defend yourself, um, against wave after wave of zombies, uh, and they get harder and harder as you go along. Um, you have this environment here, and then you've got one room in the back that opens up, allowing you to purchase uh, traps and uh, um, additional defenses, weapons, uh, ammunition, things of that nature. Also, you can purchase abilities as well, uh, such as health regeneration, um, reload time, uh, damage, uh, uh, multiplier, uh, things like that. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the, the game. I mean, it's it's uh, Laura Croft, uh, Call of Duty Zombies, Tower Defense mashup. <laughs> it's really what I would uh, uh, say about it. I mean, it's really what it is. Um, the graphics are, are great for, for this kind of game. I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised. Um, the, enemy AI, uh, the enemy AI, excuse me, um, can be kind of dumb, um, in the sense that they can get stuck, <laughs> um, just kind of walking in place, but I guess it's kind of, uh, expecting this kind of game where you have this much, uh, chaos, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but other than that, I mean, this is a great game. Um, I found myself playing this game for at least a couple of hours. Um, have not beat the game yet? No, I haven't. I've gotten to wave four, and then I just can't get beyond that. Um, I'm just not good enough. <laughs> but it uh, doesn't mean I don't have a, a heck of a lot of fun with it. Because uh, it's definitely fun. Oh, uh, so I got a Halo there, um, which allows you to uh, be invincible temporarily, which is kind of nice. That's why I'm, I'm hacking him up with a knife, trying to conserve ammo. Um, the, uh, the animations in the game are, are kind of weird sometimes. Like, she'll, like, try to attack with the knife and it'll, like, go behind her or something. It's kind of just weird. Kind of those one-off things will happen. But, uh, oh man, it's just it's, it's such a, such a gory mess. Uh, but yeah, this is the game. Um, it's uh, There's really not much more to it than this. So if you like games like this, you know, this is definitely worth picking up. It's not uh, not too expensive. Uh, available on the PS4 and Xbox One. And I think it's also on the Switch as well. Um, so you can get it on all three platforms. Sometimes those zombies are really hard to get away from. Um, I will say the aiming is kind of difficult because there's no there's no auto aim, but uh, but other than that, it's the uh, gameplay is uh, great.
Okay, so here's the back room where you can purchase uh, traps and uh, ammunition and weapons. Here I'm going to purchase some barricades. I think I purchased about 10 or 12. Because um, <laughs> I don't know how much how many I'm going to need, so I'm going to just purchase quite a bit there. And I'm going to purchase some turrets as well. And that table over there, that's to uh, get abilities. So just health regeneration and stuff. And there's um, weapons. Um, and uh, ammo. So if you have the gun already, you just buy ammo for it. But if you have the gun, you have to buy the gun. And then the ammo becomes um, available. I really want that flamethrower. <laughs> but that flamethrower is so expensive. And money is not easy... Uh, not easy to to uh, uh, accumulate. It takes quite a while to get uh, enough money to, to feel like you you've got something uh, uh, substantial. So here um, I'm putting the the uh, barricades in, and these do uh, these do uh, break down. They will go after them. I'll uh, just try to break them down. Try to space them in such a way that I'll be defended. I'm also using the pillars there as some added uh, added cover. Because um, I can't get through the pillars. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, I think I bought like... Nah, maybe, maybe I bought eight. If I remember right. And I had a couple of turrets too. Uh, the turrets will explode um, if they get hit too much. And if you're by the pillar, you will also take damage. Uh, so to be aware of that, don't stand next to it. <laughs> if it uh, starts smoking or start, starts making funny noises, just get out of the way. And quickly. <laughs> i going to place the turret there. Yeah, you can rotate the turret to face however you want. You can rotate the barricades to face however you want. Um, the turrets, at least those ones, uh, I don't know if you can upgrade them later, but they have a limited range of, uh, of motion. So that's, a, that's something to keep in mind when, when placing them uh, for defense. So here I thought it was really well fortified and you know by the by I believe it's like by the second wave it just I mean I'm I'm <laughs> barricades are coming down and and at one point I'm not sure if it's in this gameplay or not, but at one point there was a zombie behind me. I had no idea <laughs> and I was nearly dead by the time I, I killed it. So that's kind of exciting. But yeah, as you'll see as you can see here, they're going after the defenses. Try to break through. They do get stuck, and they do take damage. Uh, excuse me. They do take damage as they are stuck there, but you want to take them down as quickly as possible so that they don't break down your barricades. And I guess I'm wrong. I thought it had a range of motion, but apparently not. It'll, it'll spin 360 degrees. So my apologies there. I'm not sure why you'd rotate them. Maybe it's just a. a a byproduct of the fact that you can rotate everything else. Those turrets are really handy.
I love how you can swing your knife. Um, like, the opposite direction will still hurt the zombies. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not, but hey, it's, it's, to, it's to the player's benefit, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so they broke down the defenses there. They, they blew up a turret. Not cool. Alright, so after buying some ammo, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get uh, an ability here. So this, this is your skills you can you can purchase. You have various skills, I think you got the, uh, the health upgrade. Definitely needed that. And you can also repair stuff, that's an added repair bonus. Make sure you can repair stuff faster. They end up going with another health one, if I'm mistaken. Uh, health, yeah, health regeneration. So I did health points, health regeneration, and repair. And also, okay, so I did two in health, health regeneration. So two in health regeneration, one on health points, and, or hit points, and one on um, repair. So we've gone ahead and purchased some additional barricades. Got some upgrades, some skill upgrades. We've got uh, some ammo. So we are ready for the next wave.
Okay, some closing remarks. Um, if you'll be able to play a, <laughs> a wave shooter with an awesome soundtrack, because it just has you mowing down zombies, this is definitely worth picking up. Uh, not a bad price. I think it's like ten or twelve bucks. So not a not a bad deal for what you get. So this is going to be uh, concluding the review here. Um, I do want to thank uh, sometimes you for allowing me to view this game on my channel. Um, for those of that, are, that have subscribed, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please consider doing so. I've got some great stuff uh, lined up on the channel. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and leave it here. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, until next time, take care and happy gaming.